Well, hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrew, or Kingfisher if you want to call me that. Um, I, my band name is sort of Kingfisher Videos, so, and also I'm known as Kingfisher in blogs and things like that that I do for angling. So call me what you want, I don't mind. Probably call me some other names. Um, the purpose of this video today is to uh, pretty much alert any um, buyers, the people who might be thinking of buying the uh, DJI Mini 2 drone, um, just to alert them that the batteries aren't great, in my view. Um, I've no issues with the drone itself, it's very, very good. For the price you pay for this Mini drone, it's exceptional value for money it's it's unbeatable there's nothing in that price range that will come anywhere near this drone in my view but the the batteries are a bit of an issue or can be an issue depends what you're buying the drone for if you're only buying the drone for uh just to play about with your mates a bit of fun flying it around then uh, if you just buy the drone with the one battery then it'll probably be sufficient, you'd be fed up after half an hour anyway. So there's no issue. But if you're buying the drone like I have for serious uh, photography, then what I did is I bought the, the Flymore Combo, the DJI Mini 2 Flymore Combo, which has three batteries in it. So that's a help. And here are the three batteries that you get in this nice little charging unit. Uh, the problem with these, with this charging unit, in my view, is that it only charges one battery at a time. So to charge all of these three batteries up will take you approximately five hours. It depends on how depleted the batteries are, whether you drain them completely, but it's not a good idea to do that really. So I tend to fly my drone for probably 20-25 minutes maximum and then bring it back to the, where I started and put a new battery in. So those batteries are going to have probably about, I don't know, five minutes of battery left in each one before I start charging them. So they're not completely empty. But it takes five hours. Uh, it didn't take me long to realise that those three batteries wasn't enough. Not for the sort of uh, filming that I want to do. Um, if you think about it, when you go out filming, you're going to want to practice any manoeuvres that you do with the drone to get them right before you film. Um, you're also going to have to uh, maybe try different filters uh, on, the, on the drone, depending on the light. Uh, I, I would say that you almost certainly, if you're going to do filming with this drone, you need filters of some sort. These uh, filters I have here are the Freewell uh, little pack of uh, eight filters. Um, and I find them very good. I've been very, very pleased with their performance so far. So highly recommend it to them. But you'll need filters because depending on the light, if it's a very bright day, you can't just take one filter out of the box, stick it on the lens of the drone and say, that'll do, that's fine. You really have to experiment with two or three filters sometimes to get it just right. Because, um, and the reason for that is because this drone has a fixed aperture. So if you know anything about photography, you'll know that cameras and lenses have apertures. So this is a very wide um, open aperture, f2.8. But you can't change the aperture. So if the light is very, very bright, you, can, you have to use a darkened filter to reduce the amount of light coming into the sensor. Uh, that's the only way you can do it. So when I'm out uh, filming, I often... Uh, put up a couple of flights, change it and bring it back down and change the filter to make sure I've got the, the, the right filter for that particular moment uh, as far as the light is concerned. Um, so, so anyway, so you get three batteries with the Flymore Combo, but I've bought an extra two batteries here. So I've got five. Now if I want to charge all of these up, it's going to take the best part of eight hours to charge them up on the mains. Um, so really, it's not viable to do some filming, come back home, charge the batteries up, go back out again. I mean, it depends where you are. Obviously, if you're only going around the corner, I suppose you could. But uh, the, the, the reality of the situation is 
that the, the way that these batteries charge, the speed that they charge, charging one battery at a time, because they're in series, so when you put them in here, you don't charge them all at the same time. You're charging one battery, then the next battery, and then the next battery. So that's why it takes so long, because they're in series. If they're in parallel, uh, connected electri electronically in parallel, then you'd be able to charge all three batteries at once. But they're not. So DJI, you need to change that, really. You need to get that sorted out, because it's a bit of an issue. Um, so yeah, so the batteries themselves in the drone probably last around, you're probably going to get 23, 25 minutes out of a battery. Um, but if you think about the number of times that you're going to practice your manoeuvres and everything and whatever, you know, you're not, it's not going to take long before you've used a battery and you might only have one, one, you know, I don't know, three, two or three minute clip. Quite easy. Um, so that's a, a something to consider. If you're considering buying one of these drones, you need to think about the battery power and how it's going to be, how you're going to charge it, because it can be an issue. The actual controller itself is very good. I've no no issues with this at all. Um, I can go out filming with those five batteries and still come back with three quarters of a battery on the charger on the controller. So it's not a problem at all with this, and this charges quite quickly as well. When you plug it in, in no time at all, it's charged up. It's very good. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the batteries that go in the drone that's the issue, really. Um, so all in all, the drone itself is the best you can buy for the price. It's a fantastic drone. I've crashed it quite a few times. I've done no major damage at all to it, despite um, having one or two little uh, incidents with it. Uh, and I really do like it. Um, I think from a, from a photographic point of view, if you are a serious uh, photographer or videographer, um, then you maybe need to consider a, a, a slightly better model in my view. I'm going to be purchasing probably the Mavic Air or the Mavic 2 Pro in the very near future to uh, get the sort of quality of image that I want for my purposes. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this at all. For most people, this would be brilliant. It's a very good quality for the price that you pay. But um, I'm seriously considering having the getting the Air or the Pro 2. Uh, the reason for that is because what I would do then is I'd keep this for, um, if I'm moving around a lot, if I'm traveling, it's ideal travel. I mean, you can just turn, you can just put this in your pocket. It's, it's no size at all once it's all folded up. Piece of, you know, so compact. It's amazing. So I'd use this for, for traveling, but if I want to do some serious um, work for a video maybe that I'm putting together, then I would use the more, uh, the better model, the better uh, resolution uh, image on, on, on the Air or the, or the, or preferably the Mavic 2 Pro 2. 2 Pro? Pro 2? I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so anyway, all in all, great drone. Batteries can be an issue. Give it some thought. Bear that in mind before you buy. That's the only thing I'd say to you. Um, and I hope you're all staying safe with this COVID that we've got everywhere in the world. <laughs> um, in the UK, I think we're slowly coming to see the end of the light of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I hope anyway, uh, which will mean that we'll be able to sort of get out and about a bit more. At the moment, if I want to fly this drone, I have to pretty much walk from the house um, and, and find somewhere to fly it, which is not an issue, but I'm a bit fed up of everywhere around here where I live. You know, there's not that much to, to film when in, your, in, the, in your own home surroundings. Um, but so anyway, it's coming. The, the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're getting there soon. So what I'd recommend is you comply with all the rules of where you live. Let's get this bloody thing killed and out of the way. Uh, so that we can all start living our lives again and have some fun with our drones. So anyway, in the meantime, until you see me in the next video, stay safe, ciao, and I'll see you very soon.